Hello, my name is Maria. Thank you for stopping by. I wanted to show uh, you this video I made on a series of skin and hair coloring I've been doing. And on this video, I am coloring uh, dark hair. And um, I'm starting with C1. And I am just laying out some color uh, in the areas where I think I want to have uh, the darker uh, shading to be so I start sometimes with the lightest color just to give myself an idea where I how it's gonna look and now I'm going uh, over with C3 over the same areas that I just uh, put down with the lighter color and I'm just doing some uh, small flicks in the uh, in the area that I just did with C1 now I'm going with C5 and I'm going again over the areas that I just colored uh, to start seeing how it's looking with the darker uh, tone. And I'm just adding color over. And I'm just going uh, lightly with it because I don't want to uh, put down too much dark in case I need to fix anything. It's, dark, it's, easy, it's easier to uh, fix lighter colors and darker ones. Now I am using C7 and I am again going over the same colors I just did, just lighter strokes and flicks and uh, I am just putting down color lightly on the little areas that need to be darker. And I'm sorry that my hand is covering what I'm doing but uh, this is uh, how I need to do it so I can get small flicks and then I am going to go back down to C5 and I'm, I'm going to pull out some of that color I just put down and cover a little bit of a larger area of her hair I normally just use three colors, but in this case, I decided to use uh, four. But as you can see in the end, I will stop at C3 and not use C1. And here I am just continuing to pull out some of that dark color. And now I decided to go with C9 because I didn't think that C7 was dark enough. So I am going over some of the areas with C9 and just darkening some areas. And I just keep going over them until I'm happy. And again, I apologize for covering most of the image, but I just trying to get tiny flicks here. Um, I don't want to cover too, too much or have too thick of lines. Then I'm going back down with C7 and I'm going to go over the C9 that I just put down and just pull it out a little longer. And I am trying to follow the way the uh, lines were drawn on her hair. But sometimes you have to make your own because it's easier that way. But I'm just trying to follow as much as I can to the way it was drawn. And I'm going over with C5 to, as I call it, filling the gaps where the hair is the lightest. And I think I may not even use C3 at this time because I think this is going to be looking good as is. And I am just going over the areas very carefully because I don't want to uh, erase uh, too much of the darker lines that I did and uh, and I decided to go back with C9 just to add a little more definition um, to the darker areas you can see the difference better if you go back with uh, the darker tones and in this case, as I have said before in my other videos, you can go back and forth and add more uh, color or take away some color with the lighter ones uh, until you're happy. 
and I'm just adding finishing touches with C5 just uh, adding some more color where it's needed to blend it in and that's basically how I do my darker hair coloring I hope you like my video and I hope that you like it and subscribe and I hope to see you again thank you so much and have a great day bye bye